Alrighty, fellas and fellettes, welcome back to the Hot Damn Racing Team, and if you're new here, welcome. All right, I'm having real issues with doing uh, live videos, all right? They're really shaky and they're cutting out on me. I'm trying to show you guys my projects here. And I like to show you live just for, you know, your own entertainment. If I screw up, you know, it's a little fun to watch screw ups and whatnot. And uh, it's a little fun to watch the screw ups be fixed. All right, live, you know, it's kind of cool. Like kind of like watching a live fight in a way. Okay, so what I tried to show you in a live video, which will probably post and it'll cut out, um, I'm going to leave it up. All right, so there's three of them where I'm building this project, all right? It's all in pieces. It's a live video, about 25 minutes. It cuts out, but we, I, I think I get it together. All right, then I do a five-minute video after that, all right, to show you it together. And I kind of explain it a little bit, and now we're to this point. I'm at uh, testing I did a live video, it just cut out on me again. A little upsetting, so I'm gonna try to show you this without being too shaky. So, my original idea is I have a Type 26 air to water intercooler, and I need to get water flowing. So I wanted to get an ice tank. I couldn't find anything uh, with the dimensions I wanted, all right? Nothing's gonna fit where I wanted it to fit. I wanted to be able to open up the little uh, bin in the back and the floor of the crew cabs. I'm not sure that the quad cabs, whatever happened, but the crew cabs have the bin in the back. I took out my bin so the door, so when I open the door, I have access to, or I want access to this cap right here and the air to water intercooler so I can dump ice in it. All right, in the live video, I dumped ice in it. All right, just for a little demonstration. Okay, so couldn't find anything, so I needed to switch it up and make something that'll fit. Now, once this is up in where I want it, you're not gonna see it. It's a PVC tubing, so what? All right, uh, works exactly the way I need it to. Okay, so what we have here is a cool little cap. The more you screw it down, the tighter it gets. All right, so we have, it's all watertight. It hasn't leaked. In the live video, we threw some coolant in there so we can see it. All right, we got our little death guy here. Crank him on. Battery's probably dying. Flowing coolant, water. All right, you have a screen. There's a screen right here, an aluminum screen. So ice can't get into this chamber, all right? And that's so that this doesn't get clogged with ice or get blocked, all right? This whole chamber here is the ice cold return chamber. This won't be on here with this fitting and this, all right? I'm just gonna have this hose go to the air to water intercooler, all right? This is gonna come from the exit. All right, it's gonna go to the top, you can see here. I'm trying to explain it, all right, pump. Going to the top of the intercooler. It's gonna force the water down through. All right, not only is it forcing it, it's pulling it, it's sucking on it. All right, it's sucking on it. All right, so it's gonna push through, go through the bottom, come back into the tank. The warm water is gonna hit the ice. All right, go through the ice, go through the screen. All right, should only have cold water in here. Pump's gonna grab the cold water go into the intercooler, cool the intercooler. You should only have to turn it on for maybe 10, 15 seconds at a time, or just have it on during the run. All right, um, my plan is for the winter time, no problem. The air to water intercooler not circulating right now. I'd rather have it circulating. Um, summertime, I'm gonna have a radiator type system with an electric fan. All right, there's no way that this is, I'm not gonna, I, I can't be packing this with ice in the morning and then after work every day or wherever I drive and to get the intake air temps down. All right, so for the summertime, which I have time, winter's just starting here, so, well, everywhere. Um, I have time, so I'm gonna wait for now on that setup and I'm gonna get this setup in. All right, battery's dying here. All good, works. 
circulates. All right. We'll do when the ice melts, come over here, drain it out. I might have to reach under the truck to get to that, but this I should be able to open the door, open the rear door, open the door in the floor, pull this up, fill it with ice, fill it back up with fluid, just return it back in, put this back on, tighten it up, circulate the system. It's not going to take much. This is uh, about how much fluid I'm going to need. It's, a couple, it's probably about two gallons or so more, which is what I need. Perfect little setup, I think. Yeah. Good to go. Whoops. The little alligator clips here has popped off. I am. Get some. I'm gonna paint everything flat black, sand it like I'm saying, you're not gonna see it. You're not gonna see it when it's installed. So I'm not worried about it looking like a uh, piece of poop pipe. All right, be cool to have the aluminum deal, but none of them's gonna fit where I want it to fit. So well, we can make our own stuff here sometimes. Hot damn hell yeah, get some. I uh, just wanted to show you this little deal in uh, clear view. Uh, the next time we uh, visit this should be installed on the truck or we'll install it on the truck and run a little test. Uh, we will, uh, what I'm gonna do is run it. We will check the air temps, all right, uh, from the Diablo. What we'll do is we'll drive it, we'll get it hot and then we'll start circulating it and see if we can see the temps dropping it. We should be able to do that. And a standing test, we'll use this. All right, and uh, it has a thermometer type deal that we could tape onto the side of the intercooler to uh, measure some temperature change, all right? It won't be internal temperature, but external will be fine since the uh, Intercooler designed in a way to where should be fairly closely accurate. All right. Hot damn hell yeah, get some. Y'all the baddest.